this is the world how I see it. Although this incident started in Minneapolis, this current fire, there's another dynamic that's fueling it. It's a war between those who value and those who don't. It's a war between the givers and the takers. And while some are fighting to preserve value in objects, others are fighting to destroy value in objects. It's clear to any observer. If you've noticed, there's many, many races involved in preservation, destruction of value, objects, and people. A value in an object is a person or a thing that has a value assigned to it by a living being, if you didn't understand that. Businesses are being destroyed in the inner cities, in the same community, and of the same economic dimensions. It just, it, it doesn't make sense to me. The people that built those, they work hard. They educate themselves and take advantage of the freedoms and liberties available to them, and that allows them to pursue happiness or being seen as privileged. This privilege is viewed by some as a bad thing because what they possess is seen as undeserved. What causes it? We see people as we want them, want to see them, and not really how they are. It's how we view ourselves. Is how we view the world. It's called possessing a worldview, and what we are witnessing is a clash of worldviews. No matter the race or economic standing, if I believe you have more than I have, and I do not believe I have the ability to secure it, then you think and you must destroy it. Your excess, you tear it down to where you are. And that's what these people are doing. They're tearing it down to where they are. What causes it? We see, I guess, people as we are, not as how they are. And it's how we view ourselves is how we view the rest of the world. It's not a race war. It's a clarity war. Many people are born into a better economic standing than others. There will always be someone who has more than you, someone who has less than you. It'll never change, and it's not their fault. It's a myth born from the idea from, of the original sin. If you go all the way back to the original sin, that's where it, it, it all started. With that, you know? Because of Adam's sin, all people are born into it. Philosophy is a philosophy of destruction. Nobody's worth anything. Nobody's worthy in and of themselves. But those that can see clearly their human worth and will work hard to reward themselves because they believe they're worth more than their own investment, they'll grow and flourish in the world. I mean, years ago, I mean, I, I, in 89, I, I struggled. You know, I was struggling. I was a single mom with two kids under the age of five. You know, I mean, it, I, it was hard pressed for me to pay my $235 a month electric bill. You know, and those short years ago, I'm. I just, people don't, they don't, they don't see that, they don't think of that. They, they think only that, you know, well, you know, this person's got this and this person's got this and, you know, that's not fair, why don't I have it, let me just tear their stuff up. And that's basically what they do, you know. The only thing that this will all do, and the only thing that you can change with what's going on is to change yourself. You can work hard or you can complain. You can give up or you can get up. I mean, there was a time when, you know, I, I did laundry. You know, I took in laundry to make sure that I had money for bills. You know, I, I worked a job. I took in laundry. I babysit, you know. I mean, I was, like I said, a, a single mom with two kids and a high school diploma. I was insecure. You know, I was struggling. And I was scared, but I didn't go out and tear up people's stuff. That was, you know, I mean, years ago. But my point is, I'm here where I am now because of what I've given to the world. Not because of what I've taken from the world. It's because of what I believe about myself and others. I believe in me first and everyone else second. You can believe in you and you can believe in me. We can change the world together. But we're not going to change it by forcing our views on everybody else. That's not how it's going to work. 
you know, you, you, you've got to sit down, you've got to honestly discuss it with people without tearing up their buildings and shooting them in the head and burning down their towns. It, you know, it just doesn't make sense. It's not right. It's not just. And that's how I see it.